Okay, today we're talking about how to play a simple reggae rhythm pattern. So I'm just going to do it on some A, D, and E chords so you might be able to apply it to a song like Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. So come on in to the, let's see, yeah, come on to the left hand and I'll show you. Okay, here's an A chord as I'm fingering it. You could play it this way or that way if you like. But I'm going to put my first finger on, this, uh, on the G string, and my second finger on the D, and my middle finger on the B string. And then here's my D chord. It allows me to slide and pivot on these two fingers. I just move my middle finger. And then my E chord. And let's start with our A chord, or our tonic chord. And the important thing about reggae, come over here to the right, right, right hand now. Come this way is that in reggae there's an empty beat on one so you play nothing on one and we'll just play a little left hand mute so we'll go one and then a little strum on two and then three we'll play the bass and then another strum one and then a little strum on two and then three we'll play the bass and then another strum one and then a little strum on two, and then three will play the bass, and then another strum. One, and then a little strum on two, and then three will play the bass, and then another strum. Do one, two, and three. for you there. Little E chord. One thing I recommend doing is coming a little bit closer is playing rest strokes when you play those bass notes. So actually just playing through and landing on the next string. It'll help you find your strings a little bit more accurate. So if I go one, that way. Maybe a little more accurately. Okay, cool. That'll be good enough for today.